Hey everyone, we love our celebs, and their words will live on forever, even after they're gone. You may comment below with your favorite celeb, so let's start the video. Bing Crosby, born on May 3, 1903, and died on October 14, 1977. Harry Lillis Crosby was known as Bing Crosby. He was an American singer, actor, and songwriter who was very popular on the radio, in recordings, and in movies. He became the most famous crooner of an era when the rise of radio, talking movies, and better sound recording techniques made it possible for someone like him to become famous. His easygoing style on stage and mellow, relaxed way of singing influenced two generations of pop singers and made him the most popular performer of his time. Rhonda Fleming, born on August 10, 1923, and died on October 14, 2020. Rhonda Fleming is an American actress who works in movies and on TV. She was known as one of the most beautiful actresses of her time because she was in more than 40 movies, most of which were made in the 1940s and 1950s. She was called the Queen of Technicolor because her fair skin and bright red hair made for great Technicolor pictures. She was a Republican, and she voted for Dwight Eisenhower for president in 1952. Fleming died at St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, California, on October 14, 2020. She was 97 years old. She is buried in the Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California. Sigrid Valdis, born on September 21, 1935, and died on October 14, 2007. Patricia Annette Olson was an American actress whose stage name was Sigrid Valdis. She is best known for her role as Hilda in Hogan's Heroes, an American TV show. In the late 1950s, Valvis began to act. She had small roles in movies and was a guest star in a number of TV shows, such as The Wild, Wild West, and Craft Television Theater. She played a different character in one episode of Hogan's Heroes before being cast as Hilda, Colonel Clink's secretary. She took over the role from Cynthia Lynn as Hilda, who played a part in the first season. Valdis was twice widowed. She was 72 years old when she died of lung cancer in Anaheim, California, on October 14, 2007. Fred Dean, born on February 24, 1952, and died on October 14, 2020. Frederick Rudolph Dean was a defensive American football player in the National Football League, NFL, he was on the first team of the All-Pros twice and went to the Pro Bowl four times. He won two Super Bowls with the San Francisco 49ers. In 2008, he was enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Dean went to college and played football for the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. As a senior, he was named an All-American. In 1975, the San Diego Chargers picked him in the second round of the NFL Draft. Due to a disagreement about his contract, he was sent to San Francisco in 1981. He is in both the Chargers Hall of Fame and the 49ers Hall of Fame. Sully, born on March 29, 1994, and died on October 14, 2019. Sully was born on March 29, 1994, in Busan, South Korea. Sully, who wanted to become an actress, started at Jungbu Elementary School before relocating to Seoul on her own in the fourth grade to enroll in the MTN Academy, a part-time theater school. Sully's first professional role was as a young princess Sionwoy of Silla in the 2005 SBS drama Ballad of Sendong. She was only 11 years old at the time. She had small parts in films and TV shows like BABO, Vacation, Punch Lady, and The Flower Girl is Here. Sully's manager discovered her hanged body on the second floor of her home in Seongnam, south of Seoul, on October 14, 2019. Leonard Bernstein, born on August 25, 1918, and died on October 14, 1990. Leonard Bernstein was an American conductor, composer, pianist, music educator, author, and humanitarian. He was the first American conductor to get a lot of praise from critics outside the country. He is remembered as one of the most important musicians of all time. Donald Hanahan, a music journalist, 
said that he was one of the most talented and successful musicians in American history. The list of Bernstein's accolades is long and impressive. Seven Emmys, two Tonys, 16 Grammys, including a Lifetime Achievement Award, and the Kennedy Center Honor, to name a few. Thank you for watching our video and remembering those celebrities who have passed. You may share the video with your family and friends. Please subscribe to our channel to continue receiving videos like this one.